What's going on guys, it's Cello Too Low, and in this video, I'm gonna show y'all some upgrades I've done to my truck. But first, I wanna thank y'all for 500 subs. I appreciate all y'all that watch my videos. We're on the road to 1K subs. I know we're gonna get there one day, let's get it. So I finally managed to swap out the tires all around. The tires I had were 245 40s, and I finally got some 275 45 20s. They're Bridgestones. Also got a new radio, guys. Finally, it's an Android quality type of radio. It plays DVD and Bluetooth, so I can watch movies on here. I'll drop a clip that I took earlier. Strip Weathers have one more victory in him before retirement. He's been Danico's golden boy for years. Can he win them one last Piston Cup? Yeah, there's always. Yeah, guys, the steering wheel was super clean, black suede, just like the interior. Along with my fresh ass lightning seats. Video might not do justice, but these seats are stupid clean in person. I finally got to hear the door speakers. They sound clear. So what I'm gonna probably do next is get a whole system. On my old project truck, I had a kicker box with a 12 inch kicker from Walmart. So I might make a trip to Walmart. So I just bought a box with the sub. So the amp, I'm gonna probably take it out of my silver auto cause it's been parked for a while. It has a torque converter problem. I haven't been looking in the shops to see if they can manage to work on it. I've been more focused on this truck since it's reliable. And every time I get in this truck, I just want to haul ass, but I be remembering it's a V6. It makes me lose interest, I ain't gonna lie with y'all. Because this truck's a V6, but this thing looks so good. This color is crazy. Drop a comment if y'all mess with this color. I think it's one of the top rarest colors on the 10th gen. So yeah, guys, I'm definitely gonna get a system next. Something simple though, probably just the kicker 12 inch with the amp off my silver auto and then i do plan to drop the truck more with the front is sitting on drop spindles so what i'm gonna do is probably cut about three quarters to a full turn on the coil i think it'll give me about an inch drop and then with the rear i'm gonna order drop shackles that gonna give me about two inches right now it's sitting on a flip kit that's six inches of a drop and then two more inches you know what I'm saying? It's gonna make it look real nice. It's gonna clear that gap a little bit. That's what I want. It's definitely not static, but it's low. It's not gonna have a static look at the end of the day, but it's still gonna be lower than what it is now. And that's what I want. But I do plan to be static one day with this truck if I don't sell it. Because to be honest, V6s, they don't catch my attention at all. I'm all about that V8 power.